We showed how nervous the market is still about, uh, we saw, excuse me, how nervous the market still is about trade tensions when the S&P 500 mm. briefly dipped on those headlines from Trump yesterday. How at Casanova are you bracing for more potential volatility as a result of trade tensions? Yeah, so basically trade risk is still, um, we're closely monitoring, we think is still very much a concern and we're still keeping our equity position neutral and that is mainly because of the Fed pivot. So we think that the global uh, accommodative policy would continue to support equities. However, we still think that there's some downside risk we, which we need to protect mm -hmm. and that's why um, we have increased our ca uh, gold and cash allocation and the case for gold is because we see that um, global real yields are going uh, lower again and in particular lots of negative yields everywhere in particular Europe and we think that gold should perform in such an environment and so uh, to answer your question we have increased gold and uh, cash to protect our portfolios. Okay interesting I want to ask you about the dollar as well because this does sort of feed into the trade mm -hmm. tensions in terms of all the comments we've had from Trump mm -hmm. uh, about a weaker dollar. Goldman joining the Wall Street warning on US FX intervention so the recent note out uh, the latest note saying that action to weaken the dollar is a low but rising risk. Now, the trade weighted dollar index is approaching an all time high. So you could ask yourself whether President Trump has a point. But my question to you is how much of a risk is this actually? Because it's not going to be easy mm -hmm. for the US to unilaterally intervene mm -hmm. in the dollar, is it? Now, it is very difficult. I mean, basically, the dovish Fed hasn't done much to the dollar. And how much can the Fed possibly cut? interest rate further to actually um, help with the dollar depreciation, right? Or they may have to restart QE. And actually what the US doing is dollar negative because, for example, the fiscal stimulus that they're doing, they actually increased the budget deficit, which should be um, dollar negative in the longer run. And so there are really not a lot of levers that they can pull in order to uh, depress the dollar. And I think it's a very dangerous act as well because what we're seeing is already could be a start of a currency war with the euro falling, you know, the China could follow suit, all the Asian currencies could follow suit. And if the U.S. join in, I think uh, it will really depress market sentiment. Yeah, and it's really interesting because in this commentary from Goldman, they say direct FX intervention is a low but rising risk. But um, although this would go against the norm of recent decades, developed market central banks have recently used their balance sheets more actively. FX intervention is akin to unconventional monetary mm. policy. Janet, would a weaker dollar be good for global growth, briefly? Yeah, so um, I think in normal times, a weaker dollar should be good for emerging market. Uh, we've seen that historical relationship, it lowers the borrowing costs of these Asian economies and it's just boost global eco uh, liquidity. So a weaker dollar should um, usually be positive for the global economy. But I think if, um, if the US were to take actions as in actively manipulating the currency, I think it will be a dent to investor confidence.